Isaiah 13 verse 2 Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the noble. Shalom, all praises, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who have taught me this truth, as well as men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel. Oh, my you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea land of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. And to you I say Shalom, and Yahweh ba Hashem Yahweh This lesson is edifying. Now this lesson will be one simply just flown in spirit. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah It is edifying. Again, this is the book of Isaiah 13, verse 2. Lift ye up a banner. Now what is that banner referring to? That banner is referring to the scriptures. And what is a banner? A banner is an ensign and an ensign is an emblem or sign and an emblem is a picture with a motto or set of verses intended as a moral lesson and what is the only book on the planet earth that teaches us moral lessons the scriptures which are comprised of the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Which or what? Let's find out here in the book of Proverbs, the first chapter. Verse 2. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice and judgment, and equity, to give subtility to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion a wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels to understand a proverb and the interpretation the words of the wise and their dark sayings and so this proves that the scriptures is the go-to book on the planet earth that teaches us moral lessons and by the way the word moral means of or relating to principles of right and wrong in behavior ethical expressing or teaching a conception of right behavior conforming to a standard of right behavior and we of the hopeful elect conform to the righteous standards of the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that are written within the scriptures, which is that ultimate emblem, which is that ultimate ensign, which is that banner. Okay. Definition B a device, symbol, or figure adopted and used as an identifying mark. What is the only book on the planet Earth that identifies us according to prophecy as being the biblical Hebrew Israelites? The Holy Scriptures, the Bible. It also identifies our enemies, the heathen nations, with the chief of them being the nation of the Hebrew Edomites, the so-called Caucasian race, as they call themselves today, beginning with their hegemony, in whose hand, which in the Hebrew is Yad, which means power or strength, the earth, according to the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24, has been given into for a period of time. 
okay? And so now we know what an emblem is to those out there that didn't prior. An emblem is a symbolic object used as a heraldic device. And that's what we're doing. We're heralding the kingdom of our Lord. See, now I got to go into the word heraldic. Of or relating to heralds or heraldry. Now, a herald is an official at a tournament of arms with duties including the marking of announcement and the mar marshalling of combatants. An officer with the status of ambassador acting as official messenger between leaders and especially in war. So we're heralding, we're announcing the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai and the establishment of his kingdom upon the planet Earth and the downfall of the kingdom of the wicked Esau Edom and the enslavement of them after along with the rest of the heathen nations. Officer of arms. And what is our arm? Our arm are the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai which are likened unto a two-edged sword because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but spiritual Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 for the word of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is quick which means it's, li it's alive the words that I speak unto you as it is written are spirit and our life roughly paraphrasing the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword and a two-edged sword is a sword that has two sharp edges. You can cut yourselves with it or you can cut somebody else with it. That's why it's a two-edged sword that is sharper than any other out there, sharper than any other philosophies that is known to man in the world, such as Islam, Hinduism, Christianity, Buddhism, the words of the Lord are sharper than these other swords that are two edged in the world. Because the Lord said, and sharper than any, than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and it is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And that's our weapon. The words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Jeremiah chapter 23. Verse 29. Is not my word like as a fire, save the Lord Yahweh, and like a hammer? Is not a hammer, a hammer a, a instrument of cruelty? And our instrument of cruelty spiritually are the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And like a hammer that breaketh the rock, meaning the people, these Edomites, when they hear their judgment and these heathens in pieces, because the words of the Lord break their spirits into pieces, man. Even two thirds when they're told that they're going off and that if they don't listen, this is going to be the, their judgment. So now let's go back to Herald. Again, Herald is an officer with the status of ambassador acting as official messenger between leaders, especially in war. And we're telling the hegemony of the wicked that very soon the Lord is going to destroy them and their kingdom. And so now let's go back to the word banner. And you see how the spirit is? We went from ensign to emblem <laughs> and then from emblem to herald. And that's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And so again, an ensign displaying a distinctive or symbolic device or legend, which is a title. 
which is the scriptures. A headline in large type running across a newspaper page. A name, slogan, or goal associated with a particular group or ideology. And that is a banner, which is the scriptures, and which the Lord commanded us here in the book of Isaiah chapter 13, verse 2, to lift ye up. Lift ye up banner upon the high mountain, upon the high government of this world. With the highest of them being the government of Esau Edom, which came back in the form of NATO and the EU, with America being an extension of that empire. Because they are the dragon. They are the pagan Roman Empire, which came back in the form of NATO and the EU, with America being an extension of that empire. Exalt the voice unto them, unto two-thirds of the nation of Israel or ultimately unto all Israel unto the wicked and the heathen nations shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles and the, the gates represents on the highways and hedges the agora okay the gates of the nobles who's the nobles of this world the elites and who are usually at the gates, the leaders. Because when you read the scripture concerning gates or a gate, it is oftentimes referring to leaders, the leadership. Now, here's a precept for the word banner. Psalm 60 verse 4. Thou has given a banner to them. Who's of them referring to, to, to the elect? Okay. That fear thee, because only the elect of the nation of Israel fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that it may be displayed, because a banner is to be displayed. And where is that going to be displayed? In the gates of the nobles, on the highways and edges, and also on the internet. That it may be displayed because of the truth. And who's the truth? Yahweh Shai, our Lord. And the words which comprise Yahweh Shai, because the scripture says that he comes in the volume of the book, it is written of him. Me preaching Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to the world, man. We're letting this world know that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is on his way to render his anguish fury and his rebuke of flames of fire with a sword. For by fire and by his sword, Will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many, as it is written in the book of Isaiah 6, 6, verse 15 on down. And he's also going to be coming back to deliver his elect, Lord is willing, I'm of the elect, as well as you brethren and a few sisters out there. Thou hast given a banner to them, to the prophets, that fear thee. It shall be displayed because of the truth. Salah. Matthew 5 verse 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Even as a banner. Cannot be hid. Concerning the word truth. This is the book of St. John 8 verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. The truth of what? The scriptures. Which embodies Yahweh Shai and the truth shall make you free St. John 17 verse 17 sanctify them through thy truth thy word is truth what does the word sanctify mean let's find out sanctify means to set apart to a circuit purpose or to religious use and the truth the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai set us apart from this world and from the old man to give moral or social sanction to to free from sin purify and how are we purified how how were we freed from sin through Yahweh Shai and his sacrifice 
Sanctify them through thy to thy truth. Thy word is truth. Who's the word of the of the heavenly Father? Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Saint John, the first chapter. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with the powers, and the word was a power. The same was was in the beginning with the powers. Psalms one nineteen verse nine. Beth wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Because the cleansing process is a, is a sanctifying process. Vera Thor shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. According to the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's how we are purified, that's how we are made clean, that's how we are sanctified, that's how we are set apart from this world. St. John 15, verse 3, Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Because this word cleanses us, it washes us, it purifies us, it purges us of all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. Okay? First Peter chapter 1, verse 22, last scripture, seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently and only the elect of the nation of Israel are going to love each other with a pure heart fervently okay so the Lord's willing this lesson was edifying like I said it's pretty much rolling in the spirit and um, until the next Lord's willing I say Shalom to the elect.